Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog down here nice and early at Ashfield Drift Park to try and take advantage of the cooler temperatures in the morning. I got Scarlett down here with me and we're gonna what are we gonna do Scar? The car. No, we're, not, we're gonna take it apart. So we're gonna get the coilovers out of the 350Z just because some parts weren't arriving in time for the shockworks to send to the states. So I'm just gonna take the shockwork suspension out of the 350Z and we're gonna get a new setup for the 350Z. And this setup will go into the US car because this setup that's currently in my 350Z is better for a heavier car anyway. And the Shockworks guys are going to do new valving and different weight springs because my 350Z convertible is actually quite light. Um, being that it's all stripped out and whatnot. So the aim today is we're going to get this up on jack stands and get the coilovers out. And then that car will sit there literally until we get back. So yeah. Also good because it can't get stolen like that. It's the only car we got left out now, so um, can't steal a car that doesn't have any suspension or wheels. So yeah, it'll sit on jack stands. It's safer and more secure like that. And yeah, we'll just get it all done this morning. Ready, Scarlett? Are you ready? Ready? She's looking at her own reflection in the door. Now my head is big as yours. Well, bigger. You all right? You're looking at yourself. Look, I can see you. You've got a long head, cone head. <laughs> okay, rears are all out. I'm gonna have to give him a bit of a clean up. What I do need to find, because I went full low boy on the 350. Oh, maybe I just leave myself with no choice. For the American car, but to go full, full low boy. I just probably should still find the adjusters, but see if I can find them. <laughs> I better just in case we end up too low with all the luggage and everything else. All right, that's us. All the shock work suspension is out of the 350Z. Um, pretty much can say goodbye to the Z now. Won't see it for two months. No, I'll get Shockworks to send the new revalve, different spring rates that'll be more suitable for this uh, light car in the near future. So it'll be ready for me when I get back and I can get back to my old smashing laps in the 350Z, which I really enjoy and I miss. It's been a couple of weeks since I've driven it, the poor thing. But all right, I'm going to head down to Black Arts now and see if I can get a coilover box because they're a dealer for a company for coilovers. So if they have a coilover box, I'm going to nick it to put these in so the airline won't get mad at me for trying to really badly wrap them up. So I figure if they're in a box, I won't get hassled too bad. All right, stoked. Got a package here from my boys at 11s in the UK. Has just arrived in time. I'm gonna have to try to get it out of the bag, but it's a bunch of gear from my friends at 11s. I'm super stoked about it. Their clothes are really cool. From the UK, hit them up. Um, yeah, they're sick. Holy crap. Boys at 11s went hard. So that's their address there guys, www.11s.co.uk. They're just a pretty cool brand in the UK. I commented it and I like their stuff and they've just been, I've been on flow with these guys for a long time and they're absolute champions. Thank you very much to the guys at 11s. Their stickers are cool, their shirt designs are cool. And I think Al is even gonna start helping out with my designs for my clothing brand when I do stuff for this channel. So you'll know it's gonna be cool, but this stuff is sick. Like, like uh, crews, hats, like beanie with this, definitely gonna need that. It's gonna be very cold in the UK. Super rad stickers, air fresheners, window banners, more shirts, so many shirts. Cool banner. I'm gonna have to redo my packing. I leave tomorrow to the States, so I'm definitely taking a lot of this swag with me. Rad! First is a wedding tomorrow. All right, guys, we're back down here at Black Arts. New 11s hat, stoked on it. Um, but yeah, we're getting, I'm down here because they do Slideworks coilovers down here, and I'm just stealing one of their old boxes um, to put my Shockworks in to be able to take it to the States. But also learning how to change the shocks because I'm changing obviously to a different rear shock, a shorter. It's actually a shorter. I made a mistake when I talked about it yesterday or the day before when I was talking about 
the different shocks I got. I actually got a shorter stroke um, to work better because I was having issues where I jacked my car up and my spring would fall out and all that sort of stuff. So we just completed this one here. There's something really cool which I didn't know about. Which is um, the top part is actually like a screw on piece. So this, this bit here obviously comes off but then the piece under unbolts and then bolts onto the top of that. So this entire like top area here where the adjustment is will bolt onto the top of this. So quite cool. So Chops just pulled the head out a bit, it's top bit off here. Now we're uh, Sorry Chris. Don't, don't recommend Sorry, Chris. it. Sorry Chris. Don't recommend doing it this way, but it's we're in a rush. Um, we've got a mad barbecue to go to, so we've got to get it done. And then Chop used to be a plumber, so yeah. I got, I got the right tools for the job. Uh-huh. Got the right tools for the job. Yeah. So there's a little Allen key piece that goes onto the adjuster here and allows that to come off which gives it actually a pretty good finish um, once it's back in and we've got the big tool on the job and we've also got this spanner thing good one, good one. <laughs> this is what i found really cool before is this is like one big piece that screws off and goes onto the top of the other shock so i literally you'll see it when it comes off in a sec So yeah, you see these bits are the same, but then that entire piece with the adjuster um, goes onto the new shock, which is really cool. Using some Loctite, doing stuff properly. Yeah, yeah. Considering I've got to drive like, well, I'm not, I don't have to, but I'm going to be doing tens of thousands of miles in the States, so probably a good idea to do it right. Nah, fuck that. Send it. So obviously got a bump stop and then the adjustable bit that goes on allowing you adjustability in the car without too much hassle so it's really cool you cracked it up before the wheel Jeremy you can come trim the, um, the succulent there yeah pay you to trim the succulent tell us what's going on mate maybe we've got the, re the OG southern american style whole hog I'll be able to find hoist. out how legit it is because I'll go tomorrow yeah, yeah. <laughs> well we, we watched a whole lot of youtube to find how they do it but we're gonna use our hoist to regulate the heat. Up and down, up and down. So how good is this? The bars running across. Okay, Anything else, Anything else, I can assure you it smells just as good as it looks. Actually, it probably smells better than it looks. How are you, Oh, good day. Yeah, not bad, mate. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, guys. Howdy, guys. Good. Hanging chickens. We've got the pig. And then the brisket is in the uh, And then obviously the hoist yeah. to regulate yeah. the heat. It's, it's perfect. Lots of downsies. I love it. For the brisket. Ooh. It's the best bit about Christmas. You just get fat. We do use a motor brisket. Yes. Much excitement. More beer. Keep that noise. Keep moist. 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 Every girl's favourite word, moist. <laughs> so yeah, little Christmas do here for Kevin Bell Mechanical. We've got a few of the flasher cars in here. We'll have a look. It's a pretty cool 180. Yeah, no coloured. So oh wow. Okay. So he's tricking us here. So you've got Haltech Dash in there. What 25 bucks? Yeah. So 25 bucks. SR making 600. 600. 600 horsepower SR. Well, that's Street pretty red hot. Here's a look. Street rego. Not bad. Oh, I like the um, ceramic coated turbo. Yep. That's sick. Wiggins clamps and everything. Dave makes all these catch cans. That's what he does on the side. True. 180 fab on uh, Insta. Yeah. And what's the build on it? The build? Yeah. 180 underscore fab. No. Well, it's not a stock motor. Oh yeah, stock for sure. <laughs> uh, Pardon? What's hey. the story on it? Oh, just your typical SR things. The things you do to an SR, man, to make them strong or well, hold, hopefully hold together. So there's so many different score. Like, you know, we like we in the Holford's car when I used to race a Holford's car. Like we went from stroke to 
back to two litre and actually it made more power but we were using the smaller stroke to have more revs and all that sort of stuff so there's so many schools of thought when it comes to an SR so there's no usual okay well yeah <laughs> Ford's bottom man Ford HP rods um, the head's an early S13 head it's got two mil out of size stainless valves um, heavily ported 272 solid cams yeah um, 12.5 mil lift um, and it seems to hang in there I do spin it to nine grand but if it hits the rev limiter it breaks rockers like that so it's just just SR things yeah I just try and stay away from nine grand now um, but yeah it's this, yeah. 28 PSI 28 yeah. pound 28 pound yeah and it made 596 not bad good size not, <laughs> not bad what team Sharon this one was where was this yesterday or Sunday Sunday no, it blew up Archie a few months ago. Oh. It's getting a 26. Oh, right, it's getting a 26. Okay, that's fair enough. Nice little giant as well. Nice little spoolie. Little spoolie. Just a T51 Hopefully get the nice sound back into them. Oh, the jet, the sort of build yeah. up to it. The yeah, the T51, yeah, the big yep. whistle. Yep. So it should sound good. Individual, nothing better than the RB26 individual throttles. They look good, they clean. Yeah. They look clean, yeah. yeah. And then this old thing, you know. Over Christmas? Oh, he didn't. Get ready to put that in. Oh. This is for the man that makes the, wants to make his life hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got to put the JZ input shaft in now because it's got an RB1 in because it was behind that. But. Ah. Oh, that's your 26 from yep. when you had your 34. Yep. Ah, makes more sense. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of fun for the holidays. For the man that can't change gears. Exactly. Actually, I could have really do with that in a left-hand drive car, to be fair. <laughs> I, missed the, I missed third gear so many times that morning session. It was ridiculous, but yeah. yeah. No well, doubt it's going to be cool inside that. You well, need the, to wind it up. Well, the six-speed in that is real tight at the gates, so yeah. it's pretty easy to miss. Oh, is that T56? No, it's a um, six-speed V161. Oh. Well, that's worth nearly as much as that anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So might as well get it out before I break. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, get that out, sell it to someone in America for yeah. more than the sequential costs. Exactly. Oh, sick. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to come back to this 180. We've just been having a look over it and just how immaculate it is. And you do all the fab yourself, but I was just looking at some things that are actually really, really cool on it. Um, all the little fabby bits. So you got these rad little radiator holders here. Obviously this stuff's all gorgeous, but how rad is this? So obviously using the um, window washer motor holder and then running through. Super, super neat. I love that. That is like super, super, super neat. back with the brake lines with little Oh yeah. Ones that Even down off. here, look at that. That stuff's so cool. They should be able to make that bracket because it was obviously. Even the battery clamps <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> the the yeah. Hookups down the back. Absolutely everything gorgeous. Yeah, the dick and balls? <laughs> <laughs> the dick and balls. This <laughs> thing is neat as hell. Ben, why are you zip tying the food? So when we flip it, it doesn't just slide out and fall on the floor. <laughs> Drifters, are eh? even when they're cooking, it just always comes back to zip ties. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we're good. Uh, so right side over. Yeah, for the Which way we go? Outside. You're right. Yeah. You're right. In case they drop it. Hand, so when you flip it, you know, just it. Quick. Oh, oh, juicy boy. Juicy. Oh, juice. I think it needs bite on top. Bang it out. Come on. Hurry. Oh yeah. 
Is that Peppa Pig? What? <laughs> Smell it. Why is there a horn still there? Peppa Pig. Look upon the pig mortals. <laughs> yeah, Look like what we have what? done. Yeah. See? Who knows? Who knows? He claws and no. He claws and no. That's his ears. So we run out of red rolls. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, baby. Oh, you, yeah. pull, you pull that pork. <laughs> Look upon me and smile, mortals. I am the pig lord. <laughs> I was born in the pig. Guys, I am back at home now after an amazing night. Kevin Bell Mechanical, thank you so much for that rad Christmas party. Anyway, I'll wrap the vlog up there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.